Hi guys, Korean Movie Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2017 psychological thriller Korean movie, called Bluebeard. This movie is about a doctor, who sees many oddities around him. His landlord, who's working as a butcher, is very suspicious. And there are many murder cases there. He couldn't prove it, but then all the evidence opens up new facts. The new killer. So what happened? Who is the real killer? And what really happened to Dr. Byun? Let's find out together. This is Dr. Byun. He's moving from the city to a small village. Here, he works at his friend's clinic. And because of the anesthetic he used for endoscopy, his patient is often delirious. Sometimes he and the nurse are amused, but sometimes it's even troublesome. He lives in a flat, and his landlord opens a meat shop nearby. This is the landlord, who's also a butcher. His father, who likes to eat raw meat. And his wife, who is kind to Dr. Byun. At the clinic, this is Myun. A nurse who helps Dr. Byun practice. Although only a nurse, she carries a branded bag. She tells her colleague that it's a gift from her boyfriend. When they are about to take a lunch break, a patient comes. Turns out she is the landlord's wife, who wants to have her father-in-law checked. Since Dr. Byun knows them, he ends up checking on him at his lunch hour. Myun is also in a hurry, leaving Dr. Byun alone to endoscope the landlord's father. Under anesthesia, he said something strange and suspicious. He seems to explain how to mutilate and dispose of human bodies, and how not to get caught. Dr. Byun doesn't really care about it since he was just delirious. After that, in the waiting room, he sees another old man. He says that the clinic would reopen after lunch break. But the old man doesn't move and just sits still. On the other hand, there is news where a headless torso of a woman was found at a construction site. Mian is having lunch with her colleague. But she then leaves to return to the clinic. There, she finds Dr. Byun sleeping in his room. Some time later, Dr. Byun meets his ex-wife. They are having a conversation, and after that, they are heading to Dr. Byun's apartment. There, they argue about the future of their child, and get into a big fight. The landlord then comes and asks what happened. He said that he just slipped and accidentally broke the toilet mirror. Seeing women's heels, the landlord seems to understand and then leaves him. Not long after, his wife leaves. But the landlord comes again, bringing a new mirror. Seeing that the heels are gone, he then goes inside and puts in a new mirror. Before going home, he invites Dr. Byun to go to his meat shop for some drinks. Stressed Dr. Byun then drinks together while telling the landlord about his ex-wife. He drank too much and fell asleep. When he wakes up, he sees the cold room already open. He's curious and went inside. There, he sees a black plastic bag he saw before. He looks inside the bag and sees a human head. But it turns out to be just a nightmare and he wakes up. Dr. Byun is late for work, and he immediately examines the first patient, the landlord's father. But strangely, he says that the first time is hard, but once you start, you can't stop. Dr. Byun doesn't understand what he's talking about. And after taking him out, Dr. Byun overhears the conversation of the grandmother saying that the landlord's mother has mysteriously disappeared. And it turns out that the first landlord's wife also mysteriously disappeared, which means that the current wife is his second wife. Dr. Byun is more suspicious and uncomfortable with that. After returning from work, he opens his freezer. He is surprised because the black plastic bag containing the human head is there. He begins to think that what he saw yesterday was not a dream. But he also wonders how the head got in his freezer. At work, Dr. Byun cannot concentrate and is very depressed. For several days he has been sleeping in the clinic because he wasn't comfortable in his apartment, where there is a head inside his freezer. One day, when he returns to the clinic at night, he sees Myun stealing drugs. She then apologizes and says that this is the first time she does that. Dr. Byun doesn't believe her, but he lets her go. And the next day at the clinic, Dr. Byun and Myun look really awkward. On the way home, Dr. Byun meets the landlord. He asks why a few days ago when they drank, Dr. Byun suddenly disappeared. 
Dr. Byun replies that he must be very drunk and doesn't remember about that. He also asks if his ex-wife who at that time had a fight with him had returned home safely. Dr. Byun says of course. Then he rushes back to his apartment in fright. Soon, the police knock on his door. They ask about his ex-wife, who turns out to have disappeared after she met Dr. Byun. He's getting more and more suspicious of the landlord. After a few moments, there is another knock on the door. Myun comes to ask about the police who came and think that Dr. Byun reported her to the police. He then explains that the police came to ask about his missing ex-wife. She then apologies and hurries off. But Dr. Byun notices that someone is following Myun from behind. He immediately runs to save her, but the two of them are walking very fast. He then hears a scream and runs as hard as he can to save Myun. But he is hit and immediately passed out. When he wakes up, he's already in his apartment with a man he's familiar with. Dr. Byun saw him several times in the clinic. An old man who's always watching over him. He introduces himself as Detective Joe. He says that he has suspected the landlord's father for a long time, but there was not enough evidence to arrest him. Dr. Byun tells him everything, and also shows him the head in his freezer. Detective Joe suspects that the landlord is trying to set him up, and tells him to act normal for a while. At the clinic, Dr. Hume finds that Myun is absent. He acts normally and tries to work as usual. When he comes home, he sees someone is inside his apartment, and immediately enters. From that room, an unknown man comes out with a scalpel pierced his eye. Dr. Byun then comes out with his hands covered in blood. He runs into the street and gets hit by a car. Dr. Byun's now passed out. When he wakes up, he finds himself in a room with Detective Joe. He immediately tells what happened and his suspicions. Detective Joe then shows him that he's on the news and the police are looking for him. Detective Joe then says that he will call his friend. But at that moment, Dr. Byun realizes that on all letters written name Nam Insu. Seeing everything around him strange, he immediately hits Detective Joe on the head with a flower pot. He then breaks into the landlord's meat shop and checks into the cold room. But the landlord comes and asks what he's doing. Dr. Byun attacks him right away. They get into a tense fight, until he falls and the landlord strangles him almost to death. The police come and break them up. He almost passes out and can only point his hand at the black plastic bag he thought was the human head. But no one paid attention. Shortly before he's taken to the ambulance, he sees what inside the black plastic bag is just a cow's head. At the police station, everyone closest to Dr. Byun is interviewed. Myun's colleague says that Dr. Byun always keeps his distance from the others. She also realized that in the clinic they lost some of the anesthetics, while Dr. Byun is often alone in the clinic. The landlord says that after he and Dr. Byun drank together, he realized that he lost some of his knives. It's very strange since why would a doctor need butcher knives? He already asked about that but Dr. Byun answered very coldly that he didn't dare to question him further. And Miyan. She says that she once saw Dr. Byun using an anesthetic on himself. And she overheard him delirious about how he killed a woman and kept the head inside his freezer. When she went to his apartment, he looked at her intently. She then immediately left but she was followed by Dr. Byun. She then hid and hit him. Since then, she hasn't gone to the clinic again. Now the police are interviewing Dr. Byun. All the explanations and answers now don't make sense. Starting from the landlord who kept a human head, to Myun who disappeared. Everything is just pointing the evidence towards him. And new facts are revealed. It turns out the corpse found in the river was a woman who gave Dr. Byun a large loan. And her head was found in the freezer inside Dr. Byun's apartment. And the man whose eye was pierced, is that woman's bodyguard who is looking for his boss, who disappeared after meeting with Dr. Byun. And evidenced by CCTV footage, that Dr. Byun took her and dumped her body in the river. And lastly, Detective Joe, who turns out to be Dr. Nam, a psychologist and also his co-worker, who is also the godfather of his son. Detective Joe was just Dr. Byun's imagination, where the name is from a novel writer that he often reads. At that night, he and his ex-wife didn't fight at first, and almost had sex. But while making out, he saw his ex-wife's face turned into the woman he killed. He went to the toilet to inject the anesthetic. 
That's where the fight started. He's angry and cannot accept everything that happened to him. At the end of the movie, the landlord's wife appears and says that Dr. Byun was caught because of the evidence from CCTV. The landlord then tells his father that they have to be careful too, because there are CCTVs everywhere. It turns out that at that night, Dr. Byun's ex-wife was about to get into the car, before the landlord's father beat him with a rock to death. The father just sat quietly before the landlord came and took care of the rest, along with the car CCTV. What do you think? Was Dr. Byun just being framed? Or has he become a murderer? Or have they been murderers from the start? We would love to hear your opinions and theories in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you, next time.